How Liverpool Revealed the Hidden Potential of Dominic Sabozlai Through a £60 Million Deal Dominic Sabozlai has been a revelation since his high-value transfer from RB Leipzig, but his role at Liverpool has been different from what many anticipated. While some argue that he is the best midfielder in the Premier League, this claim is subject to debate, especially considering his recent lacklustre performance at Kenilworth Road. However, it's undeniable that Sabozlai has made a significant impact on Liverpool this season. He leads in various statistical categories, including the most minutes played among outfield players, the most progressive passes, the most shot-creating actions, and the most opposition passes blocked. The quest for an all-round midfielder was a focal point in the summer transfer window drama, but Sabozlai wasn't on the radar of many clubs. Other players like Mason Mount, Moses Caicedo, and Mateus Nunes, who were also admired by Liverpool, were more sought after across the Premier League before making their respective moves. What prompted Liverpool to choose Sabozlai? Why did so few others recognise his potential? And how has his contribution turned out to be so impactful? Strategically positioned, during the previous season, only a small fraction, specifically 6%, of Sabozlai's Bundesliga playing time was spent in central midfield. Typically, he was positioned on the wider areas as part of a 4-2-2-2 system, functioning as a hybrid between attacking midfield and winger. Additionally, he experimented with a deeper midfield role for both his club and national team. Traditionally, a player possessing Sabozlai's vision and technical prowess would be shaped into a playmaking number 10, drifting in and out of games to create impactful moments. However, these types of players are now scarce due to the increased pace and physical demands of the modern game. Analyzing Sabozlai's F-Bref statistics from the previous season, which likely formed part of Liverpool's scouting report, further supports the visual evidence. Not only do his offensive statistics stand out, but he also ranks positively among other attacking midfielders in defensive actions such as tackles and blocks. Evidently, Sabozlai possessed all the necessary skills. However, because he had used these skills in the ideal position for such a brief period, envisioning him as a Premier League number 8 demanded some creative thinking. Whether it was Jurgen Klopp, Jörg Schmadke, or Jenny the scouting apprentice, someone at Liverpool had the foresight to recognise that Sabozlai would seamlessly fit into this role. A cosy tactical match. Following the transition to the 3-4-3 formation in the previous season, Liverpool achieved a more defensively compact structure, allowing Trent Alexander-Arnold greater freedom to influence the game from his newly assumed central position. However, to execute this successfully, Liverpool's midfielders assumed more advanced positions, while the wingers remained closer to the touchline. To optimise this system, Liverpool needed to acquire an exceptional attacking midfielder comfortable operating in both the half-space and on the wings. Introducing Sabozlai, he promptly presented Salah with a legitimate passing choice when positioned wide. Yet, when the number 11 aims to reach his optimal position in the right half space, he also benefits from an advancing teammate to generate space for him. It comes as no surprise that Salah, with Sabozlai by his side, leads Liverpool in both goals and assists. In order to operate in a 4-3 minus 3 thirds 4-3 system, unlike the 4-2-2-2, Sabozlai also had to utilize his physicality to return to the central area during transitions and execute effective counter-pressing. Incorporating Sabozlai into this role has provided him with a platform to showcase his abilities and has significantly upgraded Liverpool's system. Assessing impact. Describing what Sabozlai is incapable of doing is almost easier than enumerating his capabilities. His initial appearance in the Premier League showcased a burst of speed at Stamford Bridge, leaving blue shirts sprawling in his wake as Sabozlai confidently moved into space on the right, eliciting roars of approval from the travelling cop. While Sabozlai has only recorded one goal and two assists in the current league season, he leads in shot-creating actions, suggesting that his teammates could capitalize better on the opportunities he provides. Examining the data, Sabozlai ranks among the best midfielders in the league for blocks and passes blocked, notably surpassing several of Liverpool's other targets who opted for moves elsewhere in the Premier League. We witnessed a similar situation in the match against Brighton. Liverpool strategically pushed players forward to disrupt Brighton's exceptional build-up play, and Sabozlai successfully intercepted the ball high up the field, ultimately winning the penalty that secured the lead for his team. Following his less impactful performance against Luton, Klopp emphasised the absence of effective counter-pressing as a crucial factor in the disappointing result, underscoring the significant role Sabozlai plays defensively. High risk, high reward. Initially displaying only glimpses of brilliance in the Bundesliga, it appeared to be a risky move for any club to trigger Sabozlai's £60 million release clause. 
However, by pinpointing the suitable position for his skill set and integrating him into a specific role in their system, Liverpool made a decisive move. The rewards are evident on the field week after week, as Liverpool strives to build on their successful transfer window and aim for a leading position in the league by the end of May.